Hello YouTube, it's Supernova with the DCS 810C. Today we're looking at the startup procedure. The A10 Thunderbolt 2 is a single seat, twin turbofan, straight wing jet aircraft, developed by Fairchild Republic for the United States Air Force. It was designed for close in support of ground troops, with a secondary role to provide forward air controller airborne support. The A10 entered service in 1976. In 2005 the A-10 fleet began receiving precision engagement upgrades. These included an improved fire control system, electronic countermeasures and smart bomb targeting. The upgraded aircraft were redesignated as A-10C. Battery power. The 24 volt battery provides DC and AC power to the aircraft. DC power is used to start the auxiliary power unit or APU. Inverter standby. In the standby position, AC power is supplied to the engine instruments. The instrument inverter and left and right engine hot caution lights should extinguish. Emergency flood switch. As required. In the on position, the cockpit floodlights come on full bright, using power from the battery bus. In this position, the floodlights control on the lighting panel is inoperative. In the off position, floodlights intensity is controlled by the floodlights control. Engine group instruments. Verify ITT indicators are below 150C. An interstage turbine temperature or ITT indicator is provided for each engine. The indicators display the temperature between the high and low pressure turbine sections in degrees Celsius. If the left or right temperature exceeds 845 to 880C, the relevant engine overheat caution light will illuminate on the caution light panel. Signal lights lamp test, press and hold. When only battery power is available, a limited number of signal lights are tested. All other lights require power from the generators, converters or an external source. Note that this tests the lamps but not the complete circuit. The audible warning signal is also tested. Gear lights, check free green. Fuel quantity indicator, test. The left and right pointers should indicate approximately 3,000 pounds of fuel remaining and the totalizer 6,000. Digital clock, as required. Oxygen supply, on. In the on position, oxygen is supplied to the pilot. Oxygen indicator test, press and hold. Monitor the oxygen quantity indicator. 
When operating normally, the needle will indicate oxygen quantity remaining. The oxygen low level light on the caution panel will illuminate if oxygen quantity falls below 0.5 litres. It's important to note that oxygen is required above 18,000 feet to prevent hypoxia and loss of consciousness. VHF AM radio, as desired. Frequency mode, transmit receive. Frequency selection, as desired. If set to preset, select the desired frequency preset. If set to manual, use the frequency selector knobs to enter the desired frequency. VHF AM has 20 preset channels available. It transmits and receives between 1160 and 151.975 MHz. If tuned to a frequency outside the radio's valid range, a warning tone will be heard. To set the VHF AM frequency to Cobaletti Tower, manually enter the tower frequency, which is 133.0 MHz. UHF function, both. In this position communications can be transmitted and received and the guard channel can be monitored. Frequency mode, as desired. If set to preset, use the preset channel selector to select the desired preset frequency. If set to manual, use the frequency selector knobs to set the desired frequency. UHF has 20 preset channels available. It transmits and receives between 225.0 and 399.975 MHz. VHF FM radio as desired. The VHF FM radio functions similarly to the VHF AM radio. It transmits and receives between 30.0 and 76.0 MHz. APU start. The APU is located between the engine mounts in the rear fuselage. It supplies compressed air to turn the compressor fans, which starts the engines. When both engines have been started, the APU and AP generator can be shut down. The APU also powers an electrical generator and hydraulic pump. Monitor APU RPM and APU exhaust gas temperature or EGT. 100% APU RPM indicates normal operation with 110% maximum operation and 60% at engine start. In normal operation APU EGT ranges between 200 and 715 C, peaking for 2 seconds at 760 C at engine start. APU generator, power. With the APU started and the APU generator switch set to power, the APU takes over the electrical load carried by the battery.
Formation lights, off. Yellow-green luminescent formation lights are located on the aircraft's vertical tails, fuselage and wingtips. They are used to hold close formation at night and are not visible from long range. Position lights, steady. Position lights are positioned on the left and right wingtips and tails of the aircraft. They are set to steady when the aircraft is powered and stationary and flash when the aircraft is moving. Cockpit lighting control set as desired. Cockpit lighting controls include engine instruments lights, flight instruments lights, auxiliary instruments lights, accelerometer and compass light, floodlight and console light. Mast external lights aft. To set mast external lights to aft, Move the hot ass pinky switch to the aft position, which is left control and P by default. In this position, external lights are set according to the settings on the lighting control panel. ATC, request engine start. To request permission to start the engine from Cobaletti Tower, press the mic switch to forward, which is left alt and numeric plus by default, to open the VHF AM menu. Press F5 to select ATC options. F1 to select Cobaletti. And F3 to select the Request Start Engine option. Cobaletti, Colt 1 1, Request Startup. To exit the menu, press left alt and numeric plus again. Canopy closed. Wing boost pumps on. Main boost pumps on. The DC powered pumps supply fuel to the engines. Engine operate normal. The default switch position for the left and right engines is normal. In this position, if the corresponding throttle is advanced to idle, ignition will start for that engine. Left throttle. Off to idle position. To move the left throttle to the idle position, press right alt and home. The DC fuel pumps will now activate to feed the left engine. Interstage turbine temperature, monitor. Temperature will spike at 900C at engine start and stabilize between 275 and 865C. Engine core speed indicator, monitor. The normal operating range of compressor RPM is between 56 and 98 percent. It should not exceed 102 percent and it should not operate between 100 and 102 percent for more than three seconds. Left hydraulic system indicator monitor. Verify pressure between 2800 and 3350 psi. Right throttle, off to idle position. To move the right throttle to the idle position, press right control and home. Interstage turbine temperature, monitor. Engine core speed indicator, monitor. Right hydraulic system indicator, monitor.
AC generators power. In the power position, when the engines are operating and powering the generators, power will be supplied to the AC buses. The APU generator caution light will illuminate, indicating that the APU generator has now been taken offline. APU generator off. APU off. As the engines and AC generators are operating and providing power, the APU generator and the APU itself should now be turned off. Control display unit on. In this position the CDU is powered and the CDU built-in test or bit will start. Embedded GPS INS on. When the CDU bit is complete, the EGI alignment page will be displayed and the inertial navigation system or INS and the global positioning system or GPS will start to align. The alignment process can take several minutes. Standby attitude indicator, uncage. Off day night select, day. Central Interface Control Unit on. Power is supplied to the KQ, which provides data input to the MFCDs and subsystems. The Data Transfer System or DTS load page is displayed on both MFCDs when the KQ is activated. Integrated Flight and Fire Control Computer test. To start the IFFCC bit, press enter. The bit will take one minute to complete. The stability augmentation system enhances control in pitch and yaw, making the aircraft more stable in flight. Your SAS engage. Pitch SES engage. Takeoff trim control set. This sets trim tabs to neutral takeoff settings. When all trim tabs have been properly set, the takeoff trim light will illuminate. Pull up, pull up. Altitude, altitude. To load data from the data cartridge, press OSB 10. It takes approximately 15 seconds for the data to be uploaded. The asterisks next to each item will blank until the process is complete. To repeat the CDU on the MFCD, press OSB 13. The IFFCC bit is now complete. To exit, press Enter. To exit the ground bit menu to the main menu, use the select rocker switch to point to the exit option and press Enter. IFFCC on. When the IFFCC switch is in the on position, 
navigation, sensor and weapon information is displayed on the HUD. To view the Tactical Awareness Display or TAD page, press OSB15. Steer Point Flight Plan The Waypoint database is divided into Mission Points, Mark Points and Flight Plan Points. In the Flight Plan position the waypoints in the Active Flight Plan are active. This position must be selected to view the Flight Plan on the Tactical Awareness Display or TAD. Countermeasure Signal Processor Mode – Standby In the standby position, power is supplied to the CMSP and Countermeasure Set Control, or CMSC, which are then functional and can be adjusted. However, dispensing chaff and flares is not possible, and the Electronic Countermeasures, or ECM, and the Missile Warning System, or NWS, are not active. System Select Switches – On In the middle On position, the Missile Warning System, Electronic Countermeasure Self-Protection Jammer, Radar warning receiver and chaff and flare dispenser are powered. In the down off position, power is not supplied to the relevant system. And in the up menu position, the programming mode is entered for the chaff and flare dispenser. Joint tactical radio system on. In this position, power is provided to the Situational Awareness Data Link, or SADL. The SADL Data Link allows digital transmission of target locations and clarifying text between aircraft on the network. As IGI alignment is now complete, select the Navigation option on the right MFCD by pressing OSB9. Navigation mode select, Iggy. At aircraft startup, the Heading Attitude Reference System, or HARS, is the active navigation mode. HARS functions as a backup gyro system to Iggy. In Iggy mode, navigation data is driven by the CDU. Iggy mode is required to display the total velocity vector and other HUD symbology. EAC arm The Enhanced Attitude Control System is part of the Low Altitude Safety and Targeting Enhancement, or LAST. EAC uses sensor data from the IGI, the Central Air Data Computer, or CADC, and the SAS, and provides input into elevator and yaw as part of the SAS. The EAC provides two major flight control system, or FCS, functions. In Precision Attack Control 1, when the trigger is pressed in Gun Master Mode, the aircraft is trimmed through the SAS to keep the pipper on the target. Low Altitude Autopilot includes Autopilot Modes Altitude Bank Hold, Altitude Heading Hold and Path Hold. Radar Altimeter – Normal. In this position the radar altimeter is functioning and will provide data for the ground collision avoidance system or GCAS functions. Anti-skid on. In this position landing gear is prevented from locking during braking. Nose wheel steering on. To turn nose wheel steering on press the nose wheel steering button or the insert key. Ejection seat, arm. I hope you enjoyed that look at the DCS A10C startup procedure. Feel free to like, comment and subscribe, and I hope to see you again for the next DCS A10C video.